Hey there, what is up? Welcome to my top 5 moments from the Dota 2 Championship Games. Now these clips are going to be very exciting, so get ready and let us begin with number 5. Alright, to start this off, Doom is throwing his ulti on Mirana, which if you don't know, does silence, deal damage over time to her. Furion is teleporting in to help Doom kill Mirana, however Mirana's allies as well see this two of them teleporting in to try and help her out, however Tidehunter easily gets picked off extremely fast and that is down by two kills now. We jump to middle, middle uh, got a kill on Venomancer from Viper and Shen, so that's two to one now. We jump back up to top and the Pudge knows that they are down by one kill from this a uh, few last minutes or so and he knows he has to even that up so he pulls a very nice hook gets doom eats some tower de deals damage to him and he evens it up two to two jumping into number four we have a prime example of how to play assassin carries so navi is doing roshan and they are trying to finish him off however the other team does see this and they are quickly reacting to try and put a stop to this so a big team fight is about to begin and the one thing you want to pay attention to in this team fight is the very right of the screen you see weaver jumping into the very back with double damage doing exactly what he should be doing he's in the very back of the lines attacking all the enemy squishies and he is quickly destroying them because these are the type of champions that are easily die and you do not want on the field too long because of the damage they can deal tinker is at the bottom throwing so many missiles in there helping weaver out and uh weaver is going after the beastmaster up top while the camera switches over here to windrunner being attacked by spectre and uh, Tidehunter. Now they pick up a kill on her easily. However, Weaver just finished off picking picking up the kill on him, and he is jumping down here. Now it's two on two, the Weaver and Tinker versus uh, Tidehunter and Spectre. Now Weaver is chasing Tidehunter around. Tidehunter thinks he's safe. However, uh, Tinker does push himself forward, and Weaver picks up an easy quadra kill in this fight. And this is exactly how you play range carries. Jumping into number 3 is just another great team fight showing how certain heroes should be played. So the team Gigabyte is standing inside their base getting ready to defend from Team Navi as they are just out the on the outside doorsteps of their base. Now the fight is going to begin with Vengeful swapping a champion. Unfortunately Vengeful did get uh, picked off extremely fast. Tyler stuns to the bottom right. Venomancer gets hooked by Pudge. Very nice hook. Completely puts him out of the fight. Makes this team fight a 4v3 almost instantly. And now the rest of the team is going to be focusing on Storm Spirit taking him out really quickly storm spirit actually gets away but since there's a sweet punch on the other team he gets a sick hook on him brings him back gets a kill makes it 4v2 however storm spirit did buy back to make it back to a 4v3 and he goes in there with his ulti picks up uh, a kill does some insane damage to pudge and unfortunately pudge did end up dying but it still displayed an incredible amount of skill and how well he plays pudge even in those intense fights and viper barely escapes Taking the number 2 spot is a prime example of just how well Na Team Navi's coordination really is. Team Navi is about to group up and one of the members is about to use the dust that makes all his allies invisible around them for a few seconds. Now as they are invisible they are going to the enemy team's jungle and they are going to invade. Now the enemy team is farming away in their own jungle thinking they're safe, thinking nothing's going to go wrong. However they have no, no idea what is in store for them in the next few seconds. As they finally see Lich, Navi goes in, or Puck goes in there, gets a kill on the Lich with a nice double ulti from Beastmaster and Puck. Easy to pick up the kill before you can even do anything. Pick up a kill on Stan King as well. Now, the, you would think the team fight is over here, but Doom is actually overextending for no reason. Slaughter goes in there, stuns him. Uh, Weaver is doing some crazy damage. Fioran does put his trees up, but that's not going to do enough as they break the trees with Beastmaster's axes. Now, they pick up another kill as three people. Doomringer is about to buy back, and they're still charging in, diving Fioran, taking the kill, not only making it a four kill, but making Doombringer buy back for no reason. Picking up the number one spot is an epic team fight from Team Navi, picking up a double kill followed by a quadra followed by a single kill. Now you may think, how is this possible? Well, you're about to find out. They pick up the kill on Roshan, Slaughter picks up the Aegis, he blink daggers up there with Puck, and Puck gets a very nice ulti on for the enemy team. Now the enemy team has thrown so many ulties on Slaughter, not knowing that he's the one with Aegis. Now he does get killed quite fast, however he does revive, and he is about to be in the back line with Weaver, dealing so much damage to the enemy team. The Lich gets picked off, however the Beastmaster of Team Navi also gets picked off, but then followed by Stormer Spirit, uh, easily dying to Puck as well. Now Weaver is going over here to pick up the kill on Furion, gets that kill, gets a double kill on that, and now Puck is about to pick up her double kill on, uh, I believe, Stan King, and that's a double kill for two people on the uh, Team Navi. Now, you may think, you know, how is it possible to even get any more kills, however, the, but the enemy team is buying back so many times. Now, Weaver has just picked up his triple kill, about to get this kill on Furion to make it a quadra kill. And now they're chasing the Doomringer. Now, if Weaver got this, he would have got a Penta kill, Annihilation, I don't care what you want to call it. It's insane that they, how many kills they picked up, however, someone else unfortunately got this kill. But this team fight was just so, so epic. 
And now a quick bonus clip that this is the end of the last match of the tournament. Team Navi has just won and I just thought I'd throw this in because I find it funny how one of the members from Team Navi just typed million. You know, he's so excited that they just won the tournament. They won a million dollars for their team and I just can't even begin to imagine how great they must be feeling winning this tournament. These matches were so interesting to watch and I hope you guys enjoyed watching these matches as much as I have. Once Dota 2 is public for everyone, don't forget that you can send in your replays to redmercy1991 at gmail.com and who knows, maybe you will be featured in the next top 5 video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will definitely see you guys for the next episode. Take it easy.